and welcome to my channel. If you're suffering from wrist pain every time you do your practice, this video is for you. Let me explain to you what's happening around this area when you go into plank or downward facing dog. In your hands, you have little muscles, you have tendons and ligaments that they get active every time you bear weight on it. On top of your palm, you have the extensors. They are on charge of having all the body weight once you put your body forward and you're pressing on your hands and you have the flexors. They are in charge of extending the hand whenever you do movements like this one or when you bring the fist forward and you close it, feeling the movement all the way to the forearms. Now, a lot of people are telling me in classes that they are suffering from wrist pain. This video is designed for you. It's a little practice that you can practice every single day to strengthen and get some flex flexibility over here. Let's get started. Sit down in a comfortable position. We're gonna start just by moving the wrist, interlacing your fingers and just moving your hands from one side to the other in circles, then change the, the rotation. Perfect, start activating that area. Now extend the hands, palm facing up. You're gonna be closing the fingers, activating those flexors that we were talking about, these tendons and ligaments located on top of your wrist. Perfect, you can go a little bit farther, and faster, the faster you do it, the more you're gonna feel it here, the pump in the forearms. And now opposite, so palm facing down. Keep doing that movement, activate those wrists, move your hands from one side to the other, like shaking those wrists, letting them loose before we go into a table pose position. Go ahead, go into your mat in a table pose. Make sure your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. You don't want your hands to be all the way here. Just to bear in mind all that weight located on every single finger. You're gonna start doing rotations with your body, making sure your palm is open. So every single finger is receiving a little bit of strength. Couple breaths there. Make sure you activate that core, so don't let that core loose. I know our main focus is the wrist, but be aware of every single part of your body. Now rotate to the other side, nice and steady, feeling the pressure on those fingers and bring the fingers facing towards the outside. So the fingers are facing towards the outside of the mat, right and left. You keep putting your body weight there from one side to the other. Excellent. Now bringing the hands facing up, palm facing up to the sky. You're gonna try to make a fist with your fingers, so try to close your hands. Really good, I know it might feel a little bit awkward. It's not the same than just like closing the fist just in the air. Here you're restraining a little bit this area with, which is making the, doing the fist a little bit harder. Close the fingers and open, close and open. Keep breathing there. And we're gonna go into a little push-up, okay? Don't put a lot of weight on those wrists. These ones are delicate tendons, ligaments. So bring the chest down. Most of the weight will be held by your core, but you're putting pressure on those wrists. Just gently feel it. Strengthening those wrists and stretching them at the same time. And release. Back flat, back again into a table pose. Hands or fingers facing forward. You're gonna locate the eye of your elbow is this one, this area, and this area will rotate forward and back. Forward and back. Keep doing that movement. Make sure your elbow is not bending, so don't let it bend. If your elbow is bending, you're not doing the same effort as, it, as it, if it's straight. <laughs> forward and back. Keep breathing there. Feel the connection all the way from this area of your hand all the way to your rotator cuff. So keep breathing, keep moving those eye of the elbows forward and back. Now, keep that motion in, in your memory because we're gonna do the same, but with your palms facing up. So your palms will turn up next to your knees and you're gonna try to rotate the eye of the elbow forward and back. It's a little bit harder and you might feel a lot of stress here in the extensors, completely normal. Don't put a lot, a lot of pressure, just Release the hands a little bit if it's necessary. It's okay if the fingers rotate a tiny bit. With the time, your body will start getting used to this movement. You're gonna have a little bit more of mobility over there. Two more times. 
and release. Now, palm facing down, fingers facing towards your knees. It's completely up to you if you want to tuck your toes there or keep them pointing. Completely up to you, depends on your range of motion there on the hips. If you want it a little bit deeper, you point your toes. If you want just to stop here, you tuck your toes. Feel a nice stretch there on the forearms. Keep breathing there. Tucking the tummy in, engaging that core. Staying there. Perfect, and release. Now, this little routine is gonna help you with your practice. You can do it just before your practice to warm up those wrists, or you can do it daily to strengthen those ligaments and tendons, which is gonna be progressively with the time. Later on, if you were suffering from pain while you were doing planks and were facing dogs, if you keep doing this little routine, you're gonna strengthen those wrists and it's gonna help you for your future practice.